What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video. So unless you are MKBHD or it seems like the, the, the fine number is 50k. So unless you have 50,000 subscribers or more, you have to rely on the scraps that Apple feed you, which before iPhone, iPad or MacBook launch days are accessories. So today you're stuck with a MagSafe wallet, the new MagSafe wallet with Find My technology. Um, you're stuck with that review today. So, call to action, get me to 50,000 subs and you can hear this Scottish accent review nicer things before they are actually released. But for those that are going to stick around, let's talk MagSafe wallet. So here it is, the Apple MagSafe leather wallet in Wisteria purple colour. Um, no point being around the bush here. At the back you have a green sticker. Apple boxes are always very easy to unbox. And because it's leather, I already know that this is just going to be a pull. Oh, I remember this from last time, it was tough. There you go, pull. Okay, so there's your wallet. Obviously in the box you get bugger all else, a uh, manual, as if you'll need that. Inside the wallet you'll get a fake card, which again it kind of shows you how to use the wallet on the back there you've got like an indentation for your finger. And this is how you get the um, cards out your wallet anyway. So there you are, that's the the wallet. I am currently rocking the blue MagSafe leather wallet and I'll get to what my thoughts are on the wallet but let's slap it on the back of my 12 Pro Max just now. There we go. There's the purple colour and you can see it's shown up. The W1 chip has now shown up so you can use this to find my. Pop in my passcode. And there we go, just connecting to my Find My device. So there, that's the wallet. It, it holds three cards, it sticks to the back of your MagSafe phone. Done. So I want to talk about something very, very important. The MagSafe wallet, no exaggeration, is the best wallet I have ever had. Now, I'm not saying there's any conspiracies out there. Obviously I'm not, this is just a joke. Please take this as a joke. But the events of the last year and a half, two years, um, have prohibited us all over the world using cash, so notes, coins and stuff. So wouldn't it be handy if we had a little wallet that only carried our important cards? And Apple released this. Perfect timing as always, well done Apple. What they didn't do with the first generation was, was have the Find My technology included in the wallet. Fine, it sticks to the back of the phone, you wouldn't lose it. But, and I want to call out Pocket Now and MKBHD and a couple of others. You guys are wrong, and I really hate when people take jabs at Apple or Samsung or big, large tech companies who are trying to innovate, engineer something new, and ultimately make it more convenient for the consumer, you and I. So what Apple are doing by adding Find My Wallet to the um, Find My app is a convenience thing because yes, this sticks to, to the back of the phone, but you tell me right now, can you wirelessly charge your phone with the wallet attached? No. When you give your phone as a dad, when you give your phone to your children, my two year old will take the wallet off and just throw it away. The wallet has found my iPhone for those exact reasons. Because you need to take the wallet off to charge and your kids may throw the wallet away. The Find My Wallet app is not there because 
the wallet slips off. The wallet does not slip off the phone. And I'm getting quite heated here because it really pisses me off when influential people take jibes and jabs at large tech companies. Who, by the way, as I mentioned at the start of the video, give you free products to review. You don't have to pay for them. You get the wallet, the phones, the iPad minis, everything else to review. And you'll take jab. I don't mind if you're talking of software trash, if there's glitches, if there's hardware issues, if things are flimsy. But when you're talking about a convenience factor that is in AirTags, is in every Apple device, the fact that they've added this is a major, major bonus for me personally. So if it's a bonus for me personally, it has to be a bonus for other people. And like in life, if you can help just one person, then it's worth doing. So don't take, uh, I'm sticking up for Apple here and I know they don't need my support, but don't try and take a cheap shot at all because the wallet falls off. I have used the wallet for a year, a full year. The wallet is always stuck to my phone other than when charging wirelessly or if my two year old wants to use the phone to watch Moana or whatever he's watching. So yeah, that's it. I, I just had to get out of there. I, I was contemplating whether or not to do the the whole MagSafe wallet video. And I guess you could say, yes, it's a MagSafe wallet unboxing. Uh, the Find My app works just like the keys and everything else. You can search, it'll go right over. As soon as you're over the device, your phone haptically vibrates and you know you're there. So you can, you can find your device. It doesn't play a sound on the wallet. But this video for me, I've put out there to talk about the benefits of the MagSafe wallet. And that is that it's always stuck to your phone when needed. So when you leave the house, you always take your phone, let's be honest. Does anybody forget their phone these days? No. Well, your wallet's attached to it. If you've lost your wallet because of the reasons I've already stated, I'm beating a, a, a drum here, the Find My app is now there. It still costs $59.99 in the UK. So it's still the same price as the first version of the MagSafe wallet, but with extra functionality. Why are you taking cheap shots? If it costs more money, maybe you could take a cheap shot, but it doesn't. And it's proper good quality. It's a good quality. And I've, I've demonstrated this a million times. Never, I defy anybody to tell me that a card has slid out of the wallet. I also would like you to tell me that it's so hard to get out because they're so tight. No, it is designed perfectly. I can take the cards out with these, but I also know that they're not going to fall out. That's the end of my rant slash unboxing review. Get me to 50k subscribers and I'll be more open and honest about how I actually feel about certain things. If you like the video, comment down below. If you agree or disagree, like, dislike, and just make sure you subscribe. Spread the word. Scottish average dad's coming for you.